The ARC A770 is an interesting and conditionally very performant graphics card that can draw and shade triangles at a crazy quick rate. With the beefy fully unlocked Alchemist based DG2512 GPU die, the card has the hardware to run all the latest DirectX 12 Ultimate, OpenGL 4.6, and Vulkan 1.3 features such as mesh shaders, ray tracing, and variable rate shading. Though the performance you'll see in game will vary from title to title depending on the implementation. Along with strong compute elements, this card also features 512 XMX cores, which are the Intel equivalent to Tensor cores found in NVIDIA GPUs. They perform matrix FMA operations useful for software such as ZSS, which can help shave down render times without a significant hit to visual clarity at higher settings. With a full 256-bit GDDR6 memory interface clocked at 17.5 gigabit per second, this card has more total bandwidth than an RTX 4070 coming in at just under 560 gigabytes per second of bi-directional throughput. Will the GPU be able to fully utilize this memory for gaming? Well, it depends. Some titles perform better than others, but I suspect that the most issues you're going to run into are with the actual GPU core than the memory setup. This card is awesome for high refresh rate 1080p gaming, and this remains true for a lot of lighter 1440p titles, but heavier, more modern releases such as Helldivers 2 gave the card some difficulty even at lower settings and with resolution scale. This card is also a beast when it comes to AutoCAD work, 3D modeling, and video and photo editing because of its enormous 16GB pool of memory. This card is really appealing to creators looking to make a budget baller of a setup, especially with its included AV1 enabled media engine. Just make sure you enable resizable bar in your BIOS, which is available on almost all PCIe Gen 4 capable boards and beyond, and on select Gen 3 boards as well. 